Hello, my name is Matt Nolf, and welcome to PNG Technologies. We are a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Generac. This is the uh, XT8500 EFI system. Uh, we'll be showing you the propane steps on it, and then we'll also show you the natural gas steps on it, and we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is go ahead and remove what we do not need on the back of the air cleaner. We're going to pull the uh, air cleaner hose out of the back of the air cleaner. Just kind of set it to the side there. Uh, this is your gasoline vent line uh, that goes up to the top of the tank. Go ahead and put that to the side. Alrighty, and then back here, there's a vibration uh, bracket nut on the back of this side. We'll go ahead and remove that nut back there. These are 10 millimeter on that back of the nut there. We'll go ahead and get that off and then we'll show you the next steps. All right, now we got everything removed from the back we need. We'll go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here. Just pop two clips off. And your air filters, pull those out. There's two of them in this one here. Pull those out. Now you got six outer screws here that hold the um, middle of the air cleaner box in. And these are six millimeter. There's six across there. So let's go ahead and take those six out of there. All right, then we'll go ahead and remove that. Now we've exposed the gasoline carburetor uh, studs here in the back of the air cleaner cover. We're gonna go ahead and remove these two studs here. Them are going to be uh, 10 millimeter again also. We'll go ahead and remove those. And that will expose our gasoline carburetor. All right, let's pull that off. All right, now we've exposed this, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got access to our gasoline carburetor, what we're gonna do is we're, when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously we're pulling this away from the carburetor, so it's, it kind of gets close to the frame here. There is enough clearance, there's no problem there. The problem we got is the studs aren't long enough to be able to put the air cleaner back on. So what I did is just take the gasket off so you don't tear it, okay? Set it to the side. Pull the gasoline carb away from the intake. And what you're going to do is get you some vice grips, okay? Lock down on those studs. Um, lock down on them pretty tight, okay? And then when you go to back them out, just give it a quick little pop. Don't try to turn it because sometimes you'll just end up stripping that stud. So give it a quick pop. You're going to back them out about two or three times full turns just to give you enough clearance there and uh, then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on installing that. Okay now before we install our slim adapter on here okay we have to put a spacer back in here so we'll supply you this metal spacer get rid of their existing gasket this already has a gasket on the internal side of it it's a rubber gasket so go ahead and just slide that on there okay Get your adapter up on there. Use their a gasket that you took off from the back side. Install that back on. We'll go ahead and get our back air cleaner cover on. Okay, now you can see obviously there's enough studs there. Now before we slide this on, on the back of here, obviously the extension for the vibration bracket is gonna be short. So what we do is we'll supply you a little extension here. Just screw that on there, okay? And then we'll give you a little flat washer, put that on there. So as you kind of guide it down in there, just slide it through the vibration bracket. Slide your air cleaner box back on. Get your cover here, the back cover back on. Get your nuts on. We'll go ahead and tighten them down. All right. And then we'll go ahead and get our center air cleaner on here. Again, this is the six smaller 
screws. So we'll get that set up. And I kind of just hand tighten these in there for now just until I get them all started. And then we can go ahead and snug them down after that. So we got six of these to go on there. Alright, get these other ones on. It's fairly a simple unit to do, and this is a really nice, I mean, Generac really did a nice job with this. Um, I've been more impressed with this one than I have some of the other ones lately. And uh, this one here is just a nice setup. Real clean. Okay, and we got one more here. And then we'll go ahead and lock those down. Now you don't have to over tighten these, okay? You're just dealing with plastic here on this. So just give them a little snug, nothing major. All right, got that. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our air cleaners back in here, okay? Tuck that in there, get our cover. We gotta kind of just check that through. And there we go. That's that step there, and we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on the back of it. All right, now we got our front on. Um, you can kind of see how the vibration bracket back there. It's kind of hard to see back in there, but you can see it. Go ahead and get your nut back on that. Tighten that back down. And it's tight back in here, but you can get to it. Apologize if my hands are in the way. All right, there we go. And we'll get our hoses back on. This is your gasoline vent one. Get that back on. Pull your clamp up. Go ahead and tuck this air breather hose back in. And we are good to go on that side. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get our hose slid on here. It's a tight fit in there, but it definitely does go. Just be careful with it. Let's slide that up on there. Bring your clamp up. Okay, we'll go ahead and lock that down. And that's that step there. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly up here. And what we're going to do is we want to kind of get where you got to. You can get to the spark plug there. So we're going to come down to the corner here, just about a half inch above the bottom here. And then we'll mark our hole over on the side. Just give us clearance here because obviously we want to make sure we clear back here. And then what we're going to do is, like I said, basically just kind of going to come up a half an inch okay and then from that mark there we're going to come over five and three quarters of an inch all right that will give us our center to center spacing to mount here okay so let's just double check that make sure we're all right all right and then we'll get a punch makes it a little bit easier that way your drill bit doesn't wobble on you so get you a mark there and then come over here you pick up your mark there before you drill it just make sure your five three quarter center looks good now the gas tank is behind here so be careful if you feel more comfortable to put a board up here or something that's fine um, just go ahead and take your time with it it's real thin
go ahead and clean them up and then we'll mount the regulator and we'll show you that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our regulator assembly mounted up here. We'll supply you all the hardware. Go ahead and line it up there, hold it in. Get your flat washers and lock washers on the back. I mean, like I said, see, this is a pretty simple unit to do and a very nice generator at that. down one more here all right that's that step there we'll go ahead and show you the next steps okay what we're going to do now is get our blue hose hooked up from our adapter to our power elbow here and let's get our clamp on here I kind of get this set up on here first that way if I have to twist it, I can, but we want to bring this down. I'm going to give you some tie straps here, okay? Just go ahead. This will keep the hose from pulling away on you. Gives it a nice cleaner little setup. Let's go ahead and get that started. You know, just kind of bring that down. Looks good. Takes the kinks out. All right, and we're going to put one more right here. So I'll give you a couple of them for it. This gives it a nice little clean look there. Go ahead and get your clamp back up here. And then we'll get that locked down. And then we'll go ahead and show you how adjusting this and setting it up and the next steps there. Okay, now they have no shutoff uh valve on this for the gasoline side so what we got to do is we have to install one we're going to install it right here okay so what we're going to do is just take off these tie straps just to make it a little easier for us to be able to move that hose around a little bit okay what we're going to do is obviously there's two wires here this is the electric this is the gas now be careful you don't cut through the gas line but we're going to go ahead and take a razor blade we want to get rid of this loom on this just got to open it up once we open it up it'll be easier for us to cut we're just going to cut a little section out there we go And then we'll clean it up. Just so we can kind of separate it. And we'll clean that up with some scissors and get that cleaned up. But I just want to expose the hose and we'll show you the next steps on this. All right, now we've got the loom kind of cut away uh, from the hose so we can expose it because we got to cut it there. So obviously, if this has gasoline in it, even though that the pressure pump is up here, it's still going to leak gasoline on you if you've had gasoline in it before. So I just took some vice grips just to collapse the hose. Just kind of clamp that up there. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the hose. You're still going to lose gasoline here. Uh, just not, you're not going to lose as much. So let's go ahead and cut this. Okay, you see a little gas. All right, now that we've got that gasoline line cut there, we're going to go ahead and install a shutoff valve here. Um, go ahead and make sure you put your clamps on each side first. Get this one tightened down. 
All right, and then just got one more on the bottom here. Let's go ahead and get our clamp on there. Just want to kind of make sure I face them the same way. Okay, get this one slid on. All righty. Now, if you want to, um, you can always take some electrical tape around this to stop the braiding on that protective. But now at least you got a gasoline shutoff valve on here. So that way we can go ahead and manually kill the fuel so we can run our alternative fuel. So we'll go ahead and show you this uh, in the next step of starting this. Okay, now we've got it connected to propane right now. Um, obviously, this is the high pressure regulator that goes with the propane kit. Uh, it comes along with it. Um, if you want to run natural gas through this, obviously you wouldn't have this fitting here, this section. And you could only run natural gas through this, <clears throat> being the propane kit if you order it, is if your outlet pressure, your meter is 6 ounces of pressure. If it is not, and it's 4 ounces, which most common pressures are 4 ounces now across the United States, you would have to, if you wanted to run all three fuels, you would have to purchase the propane kit. And then under our generator accessories, uh, we show this regulator separately. Uh, and then you could just swap the regulator out. Um, <clears throat> and you don't have to mess with the adapters, just basically the regulator to match your pressure. So let's go ahead and turn our propane on. Uh, this is your power adjustment here. In is lean, out is rich. Now on this here, we'll preset it as close as we possibly can. Every machine's a little bit different, but you should be able to get it to kick and then do your final adjustment from there. But let's go ahead. Uh, we've got everything on. On the back of the unit here, there's a manual primer button. Hit that for a second or two. You'll hear the fuel go through. Make sure your gasoline is shut off. <laughs> Now that there, again, is the Generac uh, XT8500EFI. Um, again, we showed you the propane steps, and with the natural gas, remember, um, obviously, you won't be able to use the propane as a tri-fuel unless you have six ounces of outlet pressure on your natural gas meter. Uh, if you have four, you'll have to go and buy the other separate regulators. So, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out a lot. Uh, if you'd like to purchase this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. Thank you very, very much.